Hello and welcome. My name is Travis Floor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install QGIS. So let's get started. Installing QGIS on the Mac can be complicated and difficult. There's a certain order of plugins and libraries that you need to install before you install the program itself. You'll find these instructions on the COPS website. And I went ahead and created a list here of those steps same as you'll find on the COPS website, just so I can keep track of them as I do them. You'll find that uh, the actual files to download are linked there as well. As you can see, they're highlighted here in blue, uh, taken off the website. So the first thing we need to do is install uh, GDAL. So I double click on the file, the GDAL complete file. And in here, there's a GDAL complete .pkg, which stands for package. So we'll double click on it. And you'll get a bunch of dialog boxes like these through all of these installs except for one. I highly recommend just leaving the defaults and installing as is. So you just hit continue, continue, continue again. You'll agree to the terms and conditions. Install on your machine. Um, I get this option because I'm the administrator. Uh, if you're not the administrator, you may have other options, but make sure you have a password that allows you to install software on your computer. Click continue. Uh, throughout these, again, leave the defaults. Don't change the location of any of these because QGIS is going to look for them in a particular place. And if you change it, you're going to end up breaking things uh, because it won't be able to find the files. So we'll just click install. Put in my password for my computer. And it'll go through and install these. Now these will run pretty quick on my computer, <coughs> excuse me, but um, depending how, how uh, modern or fast or quick your computer is, it may take a little longer um, and that's okay. Um, so just click close. Now you can see next on my list it says NumPy, but, and there's a NumPy in here, uh, but I don't want to install this one because this one comes as a package and I don't know if it's up to date, so I'm just going to close this and go and pick the NumPy file itself. So I'll double click on it. Same process, the NumPy package. And I'm gonna go through all the continues, degree, and install. And I'll close that. Next one is SciPy, so I'll go to SciPy. Same steps again. We'll close this. Close this one. So I'm beginning to kind of lose track. So I'm just going to, the reason I create this list is so I can cross them off as I go. So the next one will be the PIL, P I L, this file right here. And uh, again, I'll walk through all the continues, degree, continue, and install. Close. We'll close that window. Cross that one off. Matplot library is next. Double click the map file. Double click. Same steps again. So continue. Degree. Install. We'll close this window. Next one is the Psychop G2. This one right here. So we'll double click. Click continue. Degree. We'll close these windows.
Now the pi sal requires a little bit different. We'll need to go to our terminal window, so you'll need to browse uh, to your applications. So you can either do it here, or I like to go from here. And then we're going to go to utilities, then terminal. Now you don't need to know anything fancy. All you need to do is type the text here in italics that I just highlighted in this window. So we do sudo easy underscore install space pi sal. So that was sudo space easy underscore install pi sal and then hit enter. It's going to ask for a password and so all you do is put in your password and then it's going to go through and install. Now this is uh, pretty easy. Uh, apparently I already have one installed. If not, you'll see a bunch more text. Some of it may be red, green, or black. Don't worry about it as long as it goes through and it says uh, finish processing dependencies. So we'll close that. We'll quit that now. We'll cross that one off. And then finally, we're going to install QGIS. So we come back to my downloads folder and QGIS. Double click. This is a bit bigger file, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Install QGIS. Same thing. We're just going to continue, 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 agree for my computer, install. And we'll click close. Now I'm going to close this window. I'm going to minimize this one. A couple of things I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go to my applications and go to QGIS just to open it up and make sure everything's okay. So click on it. So here we go. QGIS. If you get any errors or error windows, uh, please let me know. So I can quit QGIS now. And the last thing I want to do is clean out my desktop. You can see uh, installing all these, I get these little disk image files. So I just select them all by dragging a window over them. Right click, eject. And I got one more, select it, right click, eject. So now we have QGIS installed. Thanks.